Hey what's up guys this is Sanjib Sky and in this video I'm going to show you how to install BSPWM and do some basic configuration to get started with BSPWM and make it working. So without wasting any more time let's get started. So to install BSPWM window manager open your terminal and after that you need to type sudo pacman s if you are on arch linux and if you are on ubuntu based distribution you need to type apt install and after that type bspwm which is the window manager itself sxhkd to install simple x hotkey daemon to manage our key bindings since bspwm does not have any status bar by default so we need to install polybar which is a highly customizable bar and also simple for beginners after that type pycom which is our window compositor for controlling transparency and animation of our windows after that type dmenu which is a simple menu for launching applications and scripts then dunst for notifications after that type nitrogen for managing and setting our wallpapers in window manager after that type alacrity which is a very lightweight terminal or you can use any other similar alternatives and then for file manager you can type thunar or you can use the file manager present on your distribution now it will install bspwm and other programs and it shouldn't take very long now finally bspwm is installed on our system but we cannot log in into bspwm directly because we will get a black screen so first of all we need to configure bspwm before logging into it now it's time to configure bspwm so type cd dollar home forward slash dot config to go to the dot config folder present in our home directory now we need to make some new directories in dot config folder to store the configuration file of the installed programs so for this type this command mkdir space bspwm sxhkd and then polybar and then pycom dunst and press enter Now we need to copy the default sample configuration files of these programs to their respective folders. So first of all we are going to copy the configuration files for bspwm and xxhkd. So for this type the following command cp space forward slash usr forward slash share forward slash doc forward slash bspwm forward slash examples and then forward slash bspwm rc and type space and then bspwm and forward slash this will copy the bspwm rc config file to the bspwm folder inside our dot config folder now type the above command again by pressing the up arrow and replace bspwm rc with xxhkdrc and type space and type sxhkd forward slash this will copy the rc file to the respective folder now to copy the config file of pycom type cp slash etc slash xdg slash pycom dot conf and then type space and pycom and forward slash now copy the sample config of polybar by typing cp slash etc slash polybar slash config dot ini space polybar and then forward slash now finally copy the dunst rc file by typing cp slash etc slash dunst slash dunst rc and space dunst and forward slash Now we need to make the bspwm rc file executable so for this we need to first go to the bspwm directory by typing cd bspwm and type ls as you can see bspwm rc file is copied successfully so in order to make the file executable type ch mode plus x and then type the name of the file now we need to do some basic changes on the bspwm rc file so for this type nano and then bspwm rc you can delete the line starting with bspc rule so to delete these lines press ctrl k now we need to specify auto start applications in our bspwm rc file 
you can type hash auto start to indicate these are the auto start applications hash symbol is used to comment for auto start applications type s x h k d and type and symbol type pycom and space dash dash config and specify the config file for the pycom which is dollar home slash dot config slash pycom slash pycom dot conf and press the end symbol again now go to next line and type nitrogen space dash dash restore and type end symbol this will restore the previous wallpaper which we set and then type dunst and type and symbol and type polybar these applications will start as soon as we log in into our bspwm type control plus o to save and press control plus x to exit nano now type cd double dot to go up a directory and type ls to see the list of our directory now type cd sxhkd and then type nano sxhkdrc because we are going to add some key bindings and edit some default ones so these are the default key bindings for bspwm so you can change these key bindings if you like for example to open a terminal you have to press windows key plus enter and by default it opens your xvd terminal so to change the terminal you can just rename the ux rxvd to your terminal of choice since i have installed alacrity i'm going to type alacrity i'm going to remove the super plus address space and re replacing it with super plus d so that whenever i place windows key plus d it will open d menu now you can look through the default key bindings by yourself and you can change anything you do not like. You can also add your own custom key binding. For example, I'm adding a key binding to open Firefox browser. So type super plus w and then go to the next line and hit tab and type Firefox. This will open Firefox whenever I press super plus w key. Similarly, I want to press super plus e to open file manager. So for this I'm going to type super plus e and then type thunar so that it will open thunar whenever I press super plus e. Once you are satisfied with your changes press ctrl plus o to save and ctrl plus x to exit nano. Now we can finally log out and choose bspwm on our display manager whenever we log in into our system. As you can see this is the BSPWM we have the polybar on the top and we don't have any wallpaper because we haven't set any wallpaper on nitrogen and as we have set our key binding earlier I can now press super plus enter to open a terminal which is our my alacrity terminal. Similarly I can press super plus e key to open sonar file manager and you can also manually browse the dot config files from the dot config folder and you can change the things which you have missed earlier you can also browse the x x hkd file and you can see the default key bindings for the pspwm so to close the window you need to press super plus shift plus w and by default your polybar status may not show your information correctly so we're going to change that so open your browser and search for polybar documentation click on the polybar link which is from the github and after that click on wiki Since I don't have a battery module showing up in my polybar, I'm going to click on the battery and 
I'm going to copy the basic settings of battery and I'm going to open a terminal and type nano.config slash polybar slash config.ini now this will open the config file of polybar now I'm going to go down at the end and paste my basic battery settings module right there and after that you need to set your battery name and your adapter name so for that just run the command above it and it will give your battery name and adapter name just you need to type the name whichever shows up in that command after that go up to the modules section and as you can see you have your modules left and your modules right now for the modules right you can add or remove any module you want for example I want to remove the file system X keyboard and memory and CPU module and I want to add battery module press ctrl plus o to save the file and you can restart bspwm by pressing windows shift and r and after restarting you will see that the battery module is updated and your status bar is updated as well now to change our wallpaper we need to open nitrogen so press windows key plus d to open d menu and type nitrogen now we need to specify a pictures directory for nitrogen example I have a wallpaper on my pictures folder in my home directory so I'm going to specify that folder and after that it will show up in my nitrogen now select the picture you want to set as wallpaper and click on apply so that's it for the basic configuration of PSPWM and make it working now you can further increase the functionality and make it look more beautiful by grabbing the dot files from unix porn subreddit or you can grab someone else dot file from youtube so that's it for the video guys thank you for watching i hope you found this video helpful and if you did please leave a like and also subscribe to my channel thank you